What's good beautiful people? How are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing well and all the best for 2022. Happy New Year to all of you. I hope it's going well so far for January. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. I am Antonio. I can tell you about the vlogs. And on this channel, I usually take you to the most beautiful places within Cape Town. I take you to places that you'll find nowhere else in the world, but here in the mother city of South Africa. Uh, if you love nature, if you're an adventurous person, or if you simply just love the outdoors, this is the channel to be. Check out my other videos. Um, if you love doing hikes, uh, I got a few hikes that I did. Uh, there is more coming in the future. But today is a beautiful day we're heading over to the false Cape coast with my brother Savito he's driving us over here we're heading over to the cape point guys we're gonna do a slight hike over there i wanted to show you this beautiful hike for people that's not you know how can i say not able to do big hikes like table mountain or lion's head for example um, this is a very chilled hike it's all the way from cape of good Hope, all the way to the very end of the last lighthouse it's going to be an interesting one just wanted to take you guys with me but e season time in cape town south africa so for all my international viewers um, this is a special time of the year in cape town um, we most of the places are actually packed and full all of the tourists comes over i always wanted to put this across to you guys you know uh, many people are very confused about cape point and where the two oceans meet in south africa so i wanted to put this straight to you guys and today we are going to actually draw that line and i'm going to tell you exactly exactly the truth about cape point stay tuned to the very end um, because you guys are going to have to see this beautiful scene of the falls Bay coast much much different to the west coast where i usually take you guys to table mountain uh, lion's head and so on stay tuned for that enjoy some montages of the road in the meantime other than that i'll see you guys when we reach at cape point Alright, so the, the scenes that you guys see now at the moment, this is the area we call Cork Bay or uh, Kalk Bay, however you want to pronounce it. Um, as I told you guys now, it's season time in Cape Town, so the roads are hectic. Traffic, bumper to bumper, mainly in these are main roads. But it's still a beautiful experience. I thought people will be back at work by this time, most of the people. It looks like we still have lots of tourists on the road, as you can see over here. Quite amazing, this is, uh, this is Cork Bay Main Road. Lots of history up in this place as well. Um, home to, you know, Brass Bell, one of the best seafood restaurants here in Cape Town that I would recommend you guys to go to. We also have Kalkis, um, situated on the harbor of Cork Bay. Um, as you can see, Cork Bay Station we have over there. Just wanted to get back to you and let you know the reason for the traffic and all of those things. Um, so if you do want to head out this side, do take that into consideration as well. You know what I mean? The traffic and things like that. Um, the time of the year that you come in, time of the day even. However, we do have a boys drive as well, it's called boys drive. Top main road that runs along the mountain. So you can skip all of these robots and things like that. So that's a way to skip traffic if you don't want to sit bump at the bumper, you know?
check it out guys we actually made it to the entrance of Cape Point um, as you can see over here but it's drizzling Ooh, it's raining it's raining it's raining oh my gosh yeah I'm not sure if you can see hopefully it doesn't rain too much um, I don't have cover for the camera so I'll do as much as I can for you guys it's a bit cloudy but yeah I just wanted to show you it's raining it's raining but we made it Okay guys, so as you can see, we actually made it to Cape of Kudo, um, the most southwestern point of South Africa. We're actually going to be heading up that steps that you do see over there. That's where you want to start your hike. Okay, this is where you want to start your hike. Cape of Kudo. Okay, you're going to stand inside of the parking over here. Um, there's lots of parking that you just watch out for the turn of though. As I showed you guys previously on now, that's the turn of you need to take. It will then lead you to this board over here from this board you're gonna head over to the left hand side where that guy is hiking up there so yeah hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned until the end because the end is always you know the most special part of the videos where all the beautiful scenes will be uh taking place in the video hope you guys enjoy stay tuned here we go you guys so while i get up could help people could help as well so make sure you take note of the trees and fake horse okay because and trees that you do see on top of uh, Cape Point, which is part of the Mountain National Park. Uh, wait to visit the old mountain trees that you do see. We all belong to one family, and that's a family we call the Feinbos family. Okay, but translated with international bills, um, it's fine bush in English. You can see some animals as well. You can see a few um, mountain goats known as Himalayan tars. Um, we saw baboons on the road. We've seen uh, ostriches, so stay tuned for that. Uh, quite nice for those who's not into ethnic hiking and it's not, don't have that fitness ability in them. Maybe Table Mountain and Lion's Head. So, yeah, stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy this. Alright guys, so check it out. This is basically the beginning of the trail. Um, this is there's very, very few climbing involved in this trail. Um, this is for the, you know, the people that don't do anything. Hectic, elderly people. Um, and, you know, babies, children, that's not very fit. Um, you can do Cape Point Dyke. If you feel like doing a nice chill dyke, head over to Cape of Kudop, hike all the way to the lighthouse of Cape Point. I guarantee you, you will have a fun time. Beautiful, I just wanted to show you guys this um, because some of the hikes that I did, India Fenster, Lion's Head and so on, you know, it's, how can I say, it's not for everyone to do, um, it's not for everyone to, you know, that's capable of doing it, so I wanted to do something for you guys that everyone will be able to do while watching this channel, um, and yeah, we're on our way up, Cape of Kudop to Cape Point hike. We can hike all the way up and hike all the way down. So usually you can actually drive to Cape Point with your car or vehicle. Beautiful views from here guys. Beautiful views. Very happy to be back. And have you ever seen a beach of Cape Point for all the locals out there? Not much locals have ever experienced this side of Cape Town as well. Same like Table Mountain. Um, but yeah, it's quite beautiful. I'm going to show you guys once we reach the actual beach. I'm going to show you some drone footages as well. Look how amazing and beautiful. The false bike goes east. So check it out, um, so that stone that I actually showed you, or the rock that I actually showed you, it's actually a whitish color stone. Um, and that's what we call Table Mountain Sandstone. There's three different layers of stone that you actually find on top of Table Mountain and the national parks and so on. We have at Granite, Table Mountain National Stone. Can you say what? Table Mountain National Stone. Can you say what? I'm, I'm telling you! Oh, sorry, Table Mountain Sandstone, and then we have the Malmesbury, Malmesbury Stone as well. So. Those three layers you'll actually see um, when getting up on top of Table Mountain. Anyway, on Table Mountain, actually. Um, this is all part of Table Mountain, as you can see. Table Mountain National Park. 
and heads away all the way over to the west coast. Um, we're actually in the middle of the Fallsburg coast and the west coast at the moment. So I just wanted to bring you guys over this side to see. Um, this is the Cape of Good Hope. Now the Cape of Good Hope was originally known as the Cape of Storms. Now why was it named the Cape of Storms? Um, very simple, obviously it was very rough oceans. That's why they named it that and it caused many shipwrecks in the past. However, um, people will get Cape Point very, very confused and I just wanted to settle something for you guys. Um, on the Fallsburg coast, the water is much warmer than it is on the west coast, okay? Now, um, normally us as locals, we usually won't go over to the west coast to go take a nice swim or a dip. We'll always head over to the Fallsburg coast because the water is much warmer on the Fallsburg coast than it is on the west coast. Now, people intend to think that, that the reason for that is it's because of the Indian Ocean. But that's 100% false, okay? We all taught false in school and history, if you have done history in the past. They actually taught us that the two oceans meet at Cape Point, which is on that side over there. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see, um, but anyways, that order that the two oceans meet here, which is 100% false. So I just wanted to clear that with you guys, that um, the difference between the two oceans is the currents of the ocean that's actually different. So on the false back coast, we will have the warm Mozambique current coming in east, okay? From the west coast, we have the cold Benguela current. So those two currents actually meet at Cape of Kudo, um, where we are at the moment. Okay, you can see over here. Um, it actually meets right here guys and you can see actually there's a certain point I'll try to catch for you guys but it's further down there there's a certain point where you can see um, the two currents different currents of the ocean that's actually clashing okay and they, it's creating a roughness of the ocean um, now that's the reason why we had many shipwrecks and things like that in the past and that's why they named it Cape of Storms okay um, so I just wanted to get that straight with you guys that when you do come to Cape of Kuro or Cape Point don't be looking out for the two different colors of the ocean because you're not going to see anything like that um, because this is where the two currents of the ocean meets, not the two oceans. Okay guys, so we made it to the lower part of the lower station I would say of Cape Point, I'm all the way from Kudov now, 
actually Cape of Good Hope, sorry. Uh, we're gonna start over now to do the next hiking trail, which is about 1.5 hours return walk is what they say. So I'm saying probably an hour up for us. Okay, we're gonna do some shots and things on top. Um, but yeah, this is where you actually want to come. Um, once you reach this point, you now you're in the right direction. Okay, from there, it's about another 30 minute walk all the way up to the lighthouse, okay? So stay tuned. Yeah, so um, if you do it, if you do come to this point, whether you're doing the hike or you actually just want to come to Cape Point, um, you have an option of doing this actual hike that me and my brother's doing at the moment, or you have an option of taking the tramp or the train, okay? There's a tramp or train that goes all the way up to the lighthouse, so you can save you some energy um, if you're not good with walking um, or your fitness ability is not on that level. Um, you can take the tramp, there is a fee that you pay though. Um, prices vary, I think, so I'm not sure. I'm not going to give you a price, but you can head over to Cape Point the website and see the actual price. Um, other than that, yeah, it's about what 90 rand now. Yeah. 90 rand to come in, yeah, to the entrance of Cape Point. Uh, the tramp is different, and that's a separate price that you need to pay in order to take that as well. Um, but yeah, keep foot, man, keep foot. That's why you're watching this video. You know what I mean? Leave the train, leave the tram, take the steps, take the hike, and guys will actually see the beauty, beauty, the real beauty of Cape Point. So yeah. Last part, the last piece of steps, or the last climb to the lighthouse. Uh, quite nice. Actually, this is the hardest part, <laughs> I would say. You know what I mean? But, um, very, very chill guy, guys. Um, nothing major, nothing major, so everyone can do it. But the beauty of it all, man, is the, the views, the scenic views of Cape Point and the Falls Bay Coast. So um, that's one big reason for you guys to come out here and explore this experience this experience you know what i mean everything can't be captured on camera and how things look on camera it's beautiful but it's much more beautiful in person you know what i mean so yeah you guys need to head over come out here and just experience this for yourself especially if you're from western cape cape town you know what i mean and you are local many of the locals out there haven't got this privilege to even experience this you know what i mean so if you do get that time to do it, take it with both hands, guys. You'll honestly, honestly enjoy it. But we made it to the top. As you can hear, part of the Yeah, beauty. All right, so let's speak the duration of climbing from Cape Point to Cape Point Lighthouse. Um, it shouldn't take you long, I would say maximum one hour all the way from Cape Point all the way up to the lighthouse. Um, that will be much, much easier. So, say one and a half hours, one and, yeah, one and a half hours to hike all the way from the to the lighthouse. Um, but yeah, the beauty of Kong, I can't give you so much, how beautiful it is. You know what I mean? Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. As I told you guys, I have option of hiking up. We have option of actually taking a tramp or a train, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, it's beauty. Everyone who actually lives in Cape Town, they need to experience this. You know what I mean? It's a very important place. Um, like I told you guys, we actually have the Falls Bay side now. From Cape of Good Hope, we're actually on the very line of uh, the Falls Bay Coast and the West Coast. So, 
Um, that's where the two currents of the ocean meets, but we're more on the false way coast now. And I just wanted to explain to you guys about the false way coast, actually, how it actually came about, how the name came about, you know what I mean? Um, so it was in 1401, quick, quick, 1401, a Portuguese seafarer came to South Africa trying to navigate Cape Town. And um, at the time, he came to a place we called Cork Bay or Calc Bay. Now, that was a main hub or harbor for all of our fish that came in into Cape Town and many other trades and things like that that came in. Um, all of them will stop over that side. But in 1401, obviously, there weren't any buildings and things like that. Um, there was basically just land, you understand? So, um, obviously, Bartholomew Diaz came to Cork Bay and he discovered Cape Town in his mind. And he told himself, you know, he was very happy, very happy that he found Cape Town at the time. But um, something told him deep inside, you know, that something is not right now. This doesn't feel like Cape Town. Can this be all of Cape Town? Because the land was like basically small away from Cork Bay, maybe fish. And he told himself, no man, I need to do some further research to see if I am actually in the right place. And when he did a ton of further research, he actually discovered he was in the wrong place all the time. The bay that he was looking for was Table Bay, but in the meantime, he was in Cork Bay. And then he named that the False Bay. You know what I mean? So that's how the name actually came about in 1401. So that's why you saw Diaz Beach at the show, you guys. And I'm pretty sure it's named after Ptolemy Diaz. I'm not sure, but comment down below though, for those people who know um, who that beach is named after. But yeah, that's how the name came about of the False Bay Coast. You know what I mean? Now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Sheesh. Hope you're enjoying this day. Hope you're enjoying this vlog. Um, more content coming soon, guys. Don't worry, more content coming soon. I'm starting off with Cape Point. Soon we're going to do some major hikes. Major hikes um, so stay tuned for that. Um, but in the meantime, enjoy this montage. Enjoy the scenes of the beauty of the Falls Bay Coast. Right, so yeah, beautiful hike. We actually finished up now um, at the lighthouse, so we're gonna head back down again. We can do this in sure under an hour up and down. Uh, the real hikes and things are coming soon, and yeah, just stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you do want to see more of these beautiful scenes in Cape Town, if you're a nature lover, um, do hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it, guys. I would appreciate it. Give a like as well, a thumbs up for this video. Um, if you think you found any value in it, if you found any entertainment in it. <laughs> Okay, do smash that like button over you guys are doing all this more coming in the future. Stay tuned. You don't already know I'm Antonio. I can't own it over the vlogs and the channel I do take to places like these. Um,